Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. The question you have to ask yourself today is, how do you achieve a result like this? Pretty incredible. Ziggy is here to show us how. Ziggy is here. That's his name. He's from the CSOH clan. Shout out to you guys. Oh, Ziggy. Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy in his IS-2S shielded. IS-2 shielded. Now my question is, when you shoot this tank and you and you hit these things, does it say screen hit? Does it, because I'm confused in this game because I shoot sometimes tanks that do not have, you know, when I look at them, they do not have screens. You know, I'll shoot the lower plate or I'll shoot the rear or the side and the game will tell me I'm sorry screen hit you've hit a screen you've done zero uh, that, that's uh, Prometheus on the move yeah Prometheus oh he's, that guy didn't hit a screen <clears throat> so you know I'll, I'll shoot a, a, a tank's lower plate and it'll say screen hit but then I'll shoot this tank in the screen and it doesn't say screen hit I'll do damage. So, I'm just wondering, Wargaming, when you say screen hit, what uh, what exactly you mean by screen? Because this tank clearly has screens. It clearly has screens on it. But if you take it into a training room and you shoot the screens, like that guy just did, um, the, the shells go right through. So maybe they're not the... They're not the... Um, the, the magical type of screens that block um, tank shells. There's only certain kinds of screens. It's, it's, it's complicated. I know, it's very complicated. Leave some comments, let me know how you, if you guys understand exactly how it works. <laughs> All I know is that the tanks that have obvious screens on them, like this, this thing's covered in screens. It looks like a, uh, you know, it looks like a mobile chicken coop. Um, the tanks that have screens, when you shoot the screens, uh, uh, usually my shots just go in and penetrate. But when I shoot, like, the lower plate of something, every now and then it'll say screen hit. But that's besides the point. That's besides the point. <laughs> that's, a, that's a question for you in the comment section. What we're here today to view is how did he achieve that result that's the point of this video how, how did he have such a great game well we're witnessing it so far uh number one ingredient is he's spamming apcr like a motherfucker right look at that uh 217 pen because why not have 217 pen when you're a tier seven fighting tier sixes right you need 217 pen to shoot those tier sixes because some of them have like 50 millimeters of armor right they may have screens you never know, like this guy may have a screen, right? We know how powerful those are. So that's number one ingredient is uh, have nothing but premium ammo loaded. Oh, he's got a couple, wait a minute. He's got three other shells. Let's just check. He's got uh, uh, three AG shells. <laughs> so uh, get ready to spend the credits. Ah, uh, you took a blind shot or you would have been able to make him pay no oh, make him pay make him pay make him pay make him pay oh second ingredient is um you need a team that's uh uh like challenged well kind of you don't want the team to be very good your team i'm talking about not the enemy team you want your team to explode like that you want a lot of your teammates to die and and do nothing before they die why that doesn't make sense Gus. yes it does because see if your teammates are good then they go win the game you don't want them winning the game. You want them dying. When they die, uh, then then you can go win the game. <laughs> you, you, you want the damage. You want a target reach environment. So that's ingredient number two. We've we've discussed this many times, but uh, uh, you have to. It's a refresher. And number three, number three is uh, well. After your teammates die, you need the enemies uh, to blunder forward like muppets, like this guy. See. Uh, so basically, what you need is a, a, a montage of Muppets, uh, both on your team and the enemy team. 
you want enough Muppets on your team to die quickly so that they don't do damage leaving an assortment of Muppets on the enemy team that will also not do anything so but it's it's kind of it's it's hard to achieve that balance because the enemy Muppets have to be slightly better than your mu Muppets because they need to kill the Muppets on your team but they have to be good enough to kill the Muppets on your team but not good enough to then quickly win the game it's a clever balance uh, wargaming the matchmaker is a mysterious thing and uh, that's what you need you, you like he's in a predicament here now right the, the enemy Muppets were good enough to slaughter his Muppets and now he's left alone now hopefully the enemy Muppets aren't good enough to finish him off they have to now blunder forward and and make themselves targets uh, like this see <clears throat> that's one and then this is has to pull around like this and bounce uh, and then enable him to come around the corner here and finish him off and the super chaffy has to come this way and uh, he's super he's ran from the rear uh, track himself and die it's um and, and that about evens things out now right so it's uh, it's it's a it's a fine line uh, this guy has to drive in the open now right there and uh, just because he doesn't know he's here right <laughs> How would he know that this IS shielded is here? Daddy, I didn't see him. Uh, I, I know that he... There was an enemy tank fighting three of my teammates, which just exploded beside me, but I I didn't put two and two together. I'm, I'm not sure how my three teammates exploded. Maybe it has something to do with this enemy tank that's here. So I'll just peer around this corner and ignore him. And that, those, those are the ingredients, right? It's like um, it's like cooking. It's like being a chef. There's a fine line between uh, when you're making that dish, that that stew, or that uh, you know also book, or uh, whatever it is that uh, you know you enjoy eating. You put a little bit too much of uh, hot spice, and then it's you know eh. you put a little bit too much cilantro, and some people are like Ooh, right. You have to it has to be the right balance. Stay still. You don't want to. Super, super Hellcat. Just stay still. You have to have the right balance. All right, what's going on? It's 9-10. He is down to pretty much a one shot. Let's see if his magical shields save him. Are his magical shields gonna save him? He knows he has a, a, a super Hellcat. I want you to stay still, Super Hellcat. Don't move. Just stay right there. Is he not going to kill us? Super Hellcat, just don't move. Don't, just stay still. Now move a little bit over. A little bit that way. Super Hellcat, just a little bit. Super Hellcat, you're not complying. Okay, forget about the Super Hellcat. We'll, we'll, uh, the Super Hellcat bounced. <laughs> he hit a shield. And the other guy... <laughs> the other guy did no. Oh, thank you, Super Hellcat. <laughs> the Super Hellcat hit a shield. <laughs> the Super Hellcat hit a shield. The, the one spot that he doesn't have a shield, the back of the turret. The Super Hellcat hit the back of the turret. The one spot that he doesn't have a shield and bounced. <laughs> or screen. And the T-34 just drove in the open. Which prompted the Super Hellcat to surge forward into the open. Which enabled both of them to explode. And now he's by himself, guys. Now he's by himself. And that was t that was coordination on the enemy part. They coordinated there. And now the, the Panther is now coordinating. Coordinated. He low, low rolled 431. Left him onto... The Panther, he must have hit a screen. The Panther is thinking, I just have to shoot him once. <laughs> Daddy, I don't like this Panther. My Panther bounced. <laughs> I guess the last ingredient, we must admit. There's two more ingredients. Number one, 
Okay, we've already listed the, the key ingredients, but the other ingredients are you have to somewhat know what you're doing. <laughs> and let's just say, as uh, Ziggy, you know what you're doing. Ziggy knows what he's doing, right? Guys, let's the, in the comment section, let's, uh, let's hear it for Ziggy. Ziggy, you've played masterfully. Ziggy knows what he's doing. And then the last ingredient, of course, is uh, you know, Wargaming just has to decide that uh, you're going to be lucky. <laughs> and uh, enemies are going to bounce on you in the most unexpected, especially when you're down to 11 HP and you're in a Russian tank. It seems like the shots just start bouncing off you. Yuri, we do little tweak. Yeah. <laughs> What? When tank is below certain HP, enemy shells have less penetration. And I don't know how it is, but whenever a Russian tank is down to almost, you know, when a Russian tank is down to a one shot, there is a tendency for that last kill shot to bounce. Call me crazy, but uh, I've seen it so many times. You know, I, I've, uh, I've, I remember playing a Progetto, tier 10 Progetto, four shot autoloader. I pulled around a quarter to a IS-4, and I had the lower plate beautifully, right? I took a shot, boom, penetrates 390 damage. You see the hole in the lower plate. Second shot, boom, shoots right through the hole. You know, there's two holes now in the lower plate. Third shot of the auto reloader, boom, same spot, boom. There's like three overlapping holes in the lower plate, and I've got them down to like 29 HP, and I've got one more shell in my clip, and I go, you're dead. And I, the shell, the three shots went through, and the last shot, I'm aiming at the same hole that's visible there on the lower plate. I press the trigger, and boom, the holes disappear. The holes close like the Terminator. You know that metal Terminator? They close, and that one bounced. I go, how did that one bounce? It must have been the angle change. No, the angle didn't change. I took four shots on the same spot. Let me check the lower plate. Well, the effective armor of the lower plate is 140. I'm shooting 279 penetration shells. Hmm, I see. Even if I low roll my penetration, 25%, I don't think it should have bounced. <laughs> it bounced. Why did it bounce? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I wish I had. I wish I saved that clip. Four shots in exactly the same spot. Pretty much the same pixel from the same angle on the same tank. And um, and the result, <laughs> the last shell bounces, with no chance of bouncing. Oh, <laughs> you bounced, Type 64. <laughs> that one bounced. So that's how you do it. That's how you achieve this result. Well done. <laughs> Six thousand four hundred and thirty-eight damage, and uh, you had some credit boosters. Premium tank, you know. Yada yada yada. Planned. But under angerfordert. Shout out to you guys, um, who has uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, <clears throat> let's watch another one, guys. Are you up for another one? Dado Lopren, is in his Tiger One. He's from the Elec. Plan. Shout out to you guys, and the matchmaker has put him on a team, unfortunately, with not one but two togs, um, two special people, um, good wargaming customers that are going to be left behind. Bye. Uh, they can't keep up with the tiger, <clears throat> which is a good thing, right? It's a good thing. Oh, and I forgot to say, how does he achieve a result? Like this. So that's, that's the whole point of this video. How did they achieve those results? I didn't flash it on the screen. Uh, but here he goes. He's gonna. How is he gonna do it? He's gonna shoot his gun. That's how he's gonna do it. He's gonna Wirkumstrafa. And uh, he's positioned himself in a kind of a cool little spot here where a KV2 can hit him. And. Good job. He's he's making himself a target, is what he's doing. Can't deliver it on the side of cliffs. He's playing aggressively in a tiger. It is, it is a very strange... On very strange topography here. 
Just sliding off cliffs, doing the best he can. Whoa! There, there, there he goes. He's like a snowboarder. Isn't the advanced physics in this game wonderful? Okay, here he goes. He's going to use this fabulously strong turret to shoot this guy. There you go. There's a, a blind tiger. Well, it's a heavy tank number. Oh, the heavy tank number, he's stopped. <laughs> this, the heavy tank is making himself a target. Is he going to stop again? That's it. Just, just hold on. There he goes. He's making himself a target again. <laughs> We've got the same ingredients. Now he's back. You got, well done. Well done. Beautifully done. <laughs> and that was perfect strategy we've witnessed right there on how not to play a, a, a tiger. <laughs> we will recap that strategy now. Do not just surge forward towards the enemies and stop in front of their guns um, and, and wait for them to reload over and over and over again and shoot you. Don't do that. That's not a good strategy. Okay? You may have learned that. Uh, maybe that's uh, your clan's strategy and you guys have a 21% win rate. You should probably think about changing that strategy. Surging forward and sitting in front of enemy guns typically doesn't work. Uh, you have to think of more clever strategies. Uh, for example, not sitting in front of enemy guns and poking out and shooting and then getting in cover. That tends to work better. <laughs> And this guy here is he's a master. Like he is he's just just like a billy goat on the on the edges of reality here. In a position that no tank would ever battle in real life. Because which tank commander would risk having his tank fall into the, the ocean? Can you imagine if you were a real tank commander and you're driving a six million dollar or a sixty million dollar vehicle and you drive off this cliff and it slides into the water and you have to bail. Can you imagine how much shit you'd be in? You drove where? Not in this game. In this game, uh, you know, it's uh, it's no problem. It's uh, There you go. <laughs> in this game, it makes complete sense. There he goes. Was it? He's the sliding tiger. Whoa! And this enemy is he's fighting a tiger head on it's two identical tigers and they, they're struggling with gun depression but this tiger doesn't want to shoot this tiger what is the other tiger doing this is an example of a, a of a good player in a tiger and a muppet in a tiger <laughs> who has got the faster reload oh they both shot each other well Clash of the Titans is what we just witnessed there, guys. Clash of the Titans. He's got a dead radio operator, and he doesn't care because he doesn't want his team to get... Uh, he's not interested in radioing the position of the enemies to his team. He doesn't care if his team does any damage. There is no I in team. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, you know what I mean. Bye. <laughs> That's the one guy you, don't, you never have to heal. Radio man? What's his job? He lets your teammates know where the enemies are. Well, screw them! I don't need teammates! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I certainly enjoy doing this commentary. Yeah. If any of you work for a radio station, or work for a, a sports team, or a, some sort of a broadcasting network, and you need a commentator for something real, like sports, Give me a call. <laughs> I'll make the sporting experience more uh, the, uh, enjoyable. Okay? College football, college basketball, no problem. <laughs> I'll learn the players' names. I will ridicule all of them equally. I think we need that. We need to get back to more uh, ridiculing in our society. And we've become too politically correct. Everyone's too polite. You know? We need to ridicule people more. Give them some thick skin. I think people are becoming too soft. And everyone's too soft now. Like, they're born soft. And they're kept soft. And they grow up soft. And what, what happens when you're born soft, you're kept soft, and you grow up soft? What, is, what do you get? You, you get a, a, a soft, a civilization of soft people. 
That's what we're... What happens if aliens show up? Well, if aliens show up one day, what the hell are we going to do? Start tweeting? It's ridiculous, but uh, that's a topic for another video. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Tiger. How's Tiger doing? Tiger's doing okay. Tiger will not cap. Tiger is surging forward. Oh, hey, Tiger is spotted. How is Tiger spotted? Well, Tiger is big and bulky and easily spotted. Oh, I bounced another... <sighs> tiger bounced another Tiger. Now, why isn't that Super Hellcat detecting the people that spotted him? Oh, it's very tricky. Who spotted him? Super Hellcat, why didn't you counter spot? It's very hard to understand. Where is that other Tiger? Where do, ooh, it's looking bad now. The Super Hellcat was obviously not so super. He exploded. A lot of the tanks that are super in this game aren't very super. Except for the Super Conqueror. It's pretty super. But most of the other ones, they're not so super. Stay away from the, the super tanks. Except for the Super Conqueror. Now there's the Tiger. Someone must have spotted him because that Tiger was too far to spot him. The Tiger, uh, you know, he obviously... Uh, ah! No, it can't be. The, I don't know who spotted him. It's very under, very strange because he got spotted way back here. Maybe this T-3045 was over here, but then why didn't his teammate spot the T-3045? It's very, very complicated. Very complicated. Maybe the super, uh, the super Hellcat just didn't have very super view range. Maybe they just changed the name of that tank to the unsuper Hellcat. Did not so. Wargaming, you should be creative with the names. You should call a couple of the tanks the, uh, the not super Pershing. Right? <clears throat> the average panther. The below average VK. The super IS-7. You could be creative with the names. You're making it diff difficult for me to do this commentary, Tiger. You're wandering around. He said, obviously thought no cap kill all. He's done 4,586 uh, damage. He's searching now. Search. Whoa. Did you know? Ho, 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 ho. He's in fat kaboots. Did you notice when he got hit? The, uh, uh, the T-34, the shell... He's going to kill this guy. But look at the shell. It bounced. hundred. He bounced 180. When the shell hit and it bounced, his turret jerked. He didn't get tracked. But his turret jerked. And he would have missed if he just pressed the trigger, which would have let that T-3045 probably out-reload him. I think it's very close. But he held his wits about him. And he didn't fire his gun. He, uh, he carefully readjusted his aim and then fired. That's the sign of a disciplined player because you can tend, you can like react too quickly there and screw it up, you know? You see him, oh, you press the trigger, but his shot hits, your turret jerks and you miss. He, uh, he waited. He had his finger was on the mouse button there, but he did not click it until he was ready. That's the mechanical skill needed to be good at this game. Quick reflexes, like a cat, is what he has. Oh, oh there's a T-28, you quick reflexes. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! He, I have quick reflexes. He, he, he didn't notice it, I noticed it, he didn't notice it. See that, guys? I noticed before he did. And now he's in a predicament, he's thinking, am I gonna get shot by that guy or that guy? Who do I wanna get shot by, that guy or that guy? Do I wanna get shot by that guy or that, okay, that guy just shot me, he missed. He's reloading. What do I do? Do I get shot by him? Or that guy? This guy? Or that guy? Who? Uh, maybe I should aim at one of them. Daddy! Should I aim my gun? Maybe aiming your gun would be good. Uh, your artillery just missed because he's a Muppet. And he didn't even stun him because he's a, a big Muppet that loaded the wrong ammunition. And he does not want to poke because that guy will just kill. Oh, the shell just missed. Did you see that? The shell just missed. So he's... Why wouldn't you take a shot at him? He wants to get behind the rock. Oh, good, good move. Now, where did this STRV go? He can't get off this cliff. How did he get down? Where did he go? I don't know. He's got too many legs. 
I didn't think you could get down here anymore. I tried to get down here with my leopard and I exploded. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, the Muppet has turned around, which uh, means he takes one up the ass and uh, is dead. Where is the STRV? Does anyone know where the STRV is? The STRV magically left, leapt off the cliff and survived, or turned invisible. This is the other possibility. The STRV became invisible to him and just drove past him to this position. That's what happened. The STRV became invisible and just drove past the tiger. He drove from there and just drove to there. Because you can't get out down from that cliff. You can't. You will explode. You will die. There's a cliff over here. Where is it? Stop moving. That cliff over there. You can't get down. Is there a secret way of getting down now? That's the other possibility. Affirmative, says the tiger. There's a secret way of getting down? You guys let me know. Is there a secret way of getting down off that cliff? Hmm. And I'm wondering what, um, what the hell his team is doing. And of course... I know what they're doing. They're being very... They're going to allow him to get the last kill. Are they going to allow him to get the last kill? Let's see. Or is the TOG... Oh, is the TOG still surging forward? The TOG has never left the spawn. Look how far the TOG... So we can tank for the Tiger. Hot TOG responsibility. <laughs> very nice. Isn't this nice to see? Players communicating in the chat. and They're going to allow the Tiger to get uh, 12... Kills. There he is. Can the tiger do it? You have to aim, buddy. There's one. Or is the artillery gonna steal the kill? Yes, they let him get it. Well done. Well done. He says thank you in the chat. So that's another ingredient that I did not anticipate having nice teammates. Isn't that incredible, guys? Fantastic game. 5,368 damage, 12 kills. And he made some credits. Leave some comments, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I will catch you soon. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video and, you, and you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe to help the channel grow. And I will catch you guys on the next one.